Battle on three. One, two, three, battle! It's Roast. <laughs> it's his first time hosting, everybody. Give it up for Max Orange. <laughs> Great job. It's your last time on the show. <laughs> Sorry. How are we doing, everybody? Uh, Rebecca, Rebecca reminds me a lot of a Karen in training. Um, she looks like every time she answers a question, she goes, um, actually. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if I can do this. This feels wrong. I don't want to bully a Make-A-Wish kid. <laughs> I'm fulfilling his very last wish, a full conversation with a woman. I feel honored. Um, Rebecca has OCD, ADHD, and a processing disorder. Rump Rum, we just call that autistic, but <laughs> she's exactly the type of person I'd want to get high just to see what would happen. There's something that feels so right about me and Harold standing here together because we look like a lovely lesbian couple. <laughs> We fit right into the gluten-free section of Trader Joe's. In fact, uh, Harold, as a token of my esteem, I made a sculpture of your body. That was the joke she made, I know. <laughs> Rebecca actually has a boyfriend, except uh, nobody told him that yet. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's still looking for your stepsister to give her that glass slipper. Harold always dreamed of being in the Marine Corps, but he didn't get in because he failed the drug test. But Harold, if it's any consolation, I don't think you would have gotten in anyway. <laughs> because you look like a lamp from Ikea. Nice. You look like you get your dildos from Ikea. Um, you look like one of the dildos, like an entire... <laughs> Rebecca, she looks like sadness from inside out. <laughs> She also looks sad inside and out. <laughs> Harold looks like a turtle and the plastic straw that killed it. You know, Rebecca, she's a, she's a musical theater major. Uh, she does improv and musical comedy. So she's super fun to hang out with. Um, <laughs> a, good, a good time to Rebecca is just sitting down comparing allergies. Harold is an atheist, which is a shame because priests would love him. <laughs> then he'd finally lose his virginity. Too much? <laughs> Rebecca, Rebecca has a crazy disease I never heard of it before. It's called vaginismus. Vagin, va, is that how you say it? Yeah. Vaginismus. It's, a, it's, a, it's basically every time she has sex, her pussy tightens up, which is such a hot disease for such an ugly girl. Dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? I actually spent three months healing from vaginismus. I was able to get my pussy to open up, and you know, hearing Harold's voice makes me want to close it back up again. You sound like a rug rat with a sinus infection. Last joke. Rebecca, you look like a fucking owl. Um, I just... I just... I just want to say, I just got one question. Just got one question before we leave here. Um, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? I don't know what I'm planning to do 
you at. Like, I knew people would go, oh, oh, and I'm like, fuck, no, I don't want to. Harold. That's hot. Stop doing it. <laughs> Harold, before meeting you, I never knew anyone with the haircut of a school shooter and the face of the first grader he wanted to shoot. <laughs> Two are adorable. Step brother, stop roasting me. All right, judges. Um, <laughs> let's go to our judges' corner. Let's hear from you first. Hell yeah, guys, get over the first battle of the night. Woo! I love it. A lot of sexual tension on stage. I was like, it's the classic story of valedictorian and captain of the hacky sack team up there. <laughs> You guys both look like you read a lot of books, but like of wildly different topics. <laughs> I love to see feminism versus manifesto. It's my favorite. <laughs> oh yeah, I think both of you guys did, yeah, this was fun and a great first battle. Uh, I would say, I think both of you had some really good jokes. I really liked the, the owl one, but I'm gonna say uh, Rebecca had it for me. One vote for Rebecca. <laughs> Michael, your thoughts? All right, y'all, give it up for the kids I let out of my basement tonight. <laughs> Guys, this felt like a step sibling porn we're not allowed to watch. Uh, You're not allowed to watch. So shut up. Uh, Got him. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I was scared when Rebecca used prop comedy, but I felt that Harold's prop comedy was a little more hack. Uh, I feel like uh, Harold had the bigger pops. You know, but I felt as though Rebecca was more consistent, so I'm gonna go with Rebecca yeah. on this one. Two for Rebecca. Woo. Tyler, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, one more time for these guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I, I can't believe you got uh, two actual serial killers on stage at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. I think, obviously, uh, I, Rebecca was a little more composed. Harold, uh, I felt for you a little bit in the uh, nerves department. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm bombing right now. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know what happened here. Um, <laughs> the owl joke was great, but Rebecca got it. Uh, so. All right, final thoughts, Chris Grieco? Yes. Listen, as a guy who's looked at a lot of hot children, <laughs> I will say, you guys, top five. I mean, both of you, you're great, you're good. Harold, you were losing in the beginning, but I mean, then you, sit, you did the sadness joke, which was awesome. You came back with the turtle joke, and then a black guy in the back went, God damn. I'm like, they're doing good. <laughs> they're doing good. He said so. Uh, yeah. Okay. You got a black guy, goddamn. And you look like that. You should be very proud of that, man. I'm not, but I'm going to try to be. Okay. That's racist. But listen, I will say, uh, you almost had it. You were pulling it through, but I think Rebecca was more consistent. So yeah, you got the win. But good job to both of you. Panelist Brooks, what do you think? Uh, I thought you both did great, and you were very nice, uh, and it wasn't that mean, and that's what I really like. Uh, and uh, I think Rebecca won, but Harold didn't get any votes, so I'm gonna give my vote to Harold. Vote to Harold, that's the battle. Great job, you guys. Get out of here. There's been just so much more pedophile material than usual on the show. It's really been weird. What's going on, Roast Battle Patreon members? My name is Max Sorch, fresh off of hosting my first ever uh, Roast Battle show. It was, eh. uh, welcome to Behind the Afterburn, Behind the Afterburn, uh, where we interview Roast Battlers after their show. Uh, Rebecca, awesome performance tonight. Uh, you really took it to Harold. What am I supposed to ask? <laughs> How's your day leading up to the battle? It was pretty good. Uh, I taught a music class for babies, and I didn't do very good. But hey, feel. You made it up in your roast. Uh, yours was awesome. You started off the show. Um, I want to think. You're kind of like a regular now on the show. One of the newcomers. Uh, you got plans to do a bunch of roasts coming up in the future? 
Oh yeah, next I'm gonna be roasting Alan Ford Jr. So I'm really excited about that. And then I've got a whole list of like dream opponents that I can't wait to, to take on. Oh yeah, I got the notebook of them. All right, well, thank you so much, Rebecca.